play. So I'm really interested in just because because the raccoon like disrupts everything. Yeah, the raccoon's really good. I think he's low key like a top Rocket five raccoon. character. He's tied Save with I. I think I said my top five last week. Raccoon's really good. Be just because his traps are just way Rocket better than they were in Marvel Three. This Hawkeye. dude knows like everything there should be to know about it yet, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm. I'm super uh, happy that they put the new Dante from DMC. Yeah, in. man, it seems like he was gonna be like a character, and then yeah. at the last moment they were like, "No, the fans will hate it. We won't make any money, so we'll just make it as a skin." But yeah, that fine. that Dante looks way more detailed. He looks way better in some stages too, because the, the black color just matches with so many stages. Mm. Uh, I kind of wish he was a character in the game, just because I, I enjoyed that game. Me and too. we we got uh, DMC uh, three Dante and Marvel three, so I you know I'd like for some variety, but we do have the rabbit fanboys who will not allow such things because we just cannot enjoy different stuff. We must have the same stuff every single game. But uh, that's kind of the reason why they they went with kind of the same characters from Marvel three. Yeah. Look at Street Fighter five. You know, people are complaining that there's no returning characters, that there's, you know, way too many new characters. There's way too many, uh, you know, what it comes down to is people just aren't ever going to be satisfied. That too. I grant it, uh, there are some things that Capcom does wrong, but a lot of stuff they do right, but they, don't, yeah. they never get credit for it, and I'll give them that. They don't. Their fan base is uh, just a bunch of haters, honestly. I, cause like some of the stuff they do, other fighting game companies do this as well. Like, yeah. Okay, the pricing for some of the DLC characters is crazy high. It's like what eight ninety nine. That's pretty high. But when you look at like Arc System, their characters are like seven ninety nine. It's like a dollar. Mm. Yeah. It's not. It's not too much off. No. It's, it's, but you know, selective outrage, I guess. You know, do That's we, what I'm saying. Capcom like, fam, fam, yeah, I, fanboys are. They love to hate, man. Because <laughs> like, when I see uh, Blaze Blue uh, Cross, which they should have called Arc Cross instead, because it would have made a lot more sense. But we're, we're going to call it Blaze Blue Cross because screw the other titles in the game. Yeah. We only care about Blaze Blue. Uh, the, uh, all of that game, besides the Ruby characters, are just reused assets. Mm. But people look at this and go, oh, reuse assets. Marvel Infinite, how dare they? Yeah, but when Arc System does it, you know, people turn a blind eye. So yeah, you gotta call it out. People, people say like, oh, rights are way harder to produce. That is true. That is way. It makes so much sense to me, but it's still it's the same thing. Yeah. It is, it's kind of weird because uh, I play Union, and. Uh, the sprites stick out like a sore thumb because Unio looks way better than every every other character in that game. Oh, really? All the Unio characters look wonderful, and the Persona characters and the Blazing characters look like their sprites are from 2009. Oh no! Yeah. But uh, right now we have Otis uh, really just doing the Dante stuff. I'm not sure if that's an overhead. It looks like it is. But it's, it, it's, it's a very abusable move. A lot yeah. of people right now are either playing a combination of Dante, Otron, um. Yeah, <laughs> Dante Otron with a little bit of Dormammu mixed in. Uh, Reality Stone on deck because forget the footsies. Uh, every week, I'm starting to realize this game has no footsies. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, there's, there's no, like in Marvel 3 and Marvel 2, there's so many ways to approach your opponent. In this game, I feel like the best way to approach your opponent is to literally super drop to make a mistake. If you, if you play on the ground, you're going to get bopped. Okay. You play in the air, you're probably gonna get bought by something. You know, that probably makes so much reality. sense because I've been staying on the ground so much in this game and I just get destroyed. The ground by is aerials. like hot fire. It's lava. Don't touch the ground ever right. in this game. Alright, fair it's, enough. I mean, which would wouldn't be so bad, I think, if they put chicken block back in the game. What what's it's it allows you to block immediately in the air. Oh, I and see. And so I you see. don't have to respect a lot of stuff. I but see. which is which is good because there's so many like tough situations like right now offense is too overpowered Go offense on. is like crazy I mean, overpowered. that's the point of the game though right it's to keep attacking it's, the point of the game is for crazy yeah like marvel 3 had crazy defensive tactics because ultimate marvel 3 their basis for that game they wanted it to be more zony and that's why you had morgans and you had the doctor stranges and oh. 
you you had what beautiful Joe got some buffs from Vanilla, uh, Arthur got some buffs from Vanilla. Uh, of course, Morgan got her uh, canceled and whatnot. They wanted the game to be zoning uh, based. This game, they said, fuck all that. Yep. We want uh, our Capcom fighters to just be pure offense, just like Street Fighter Five. Right. Very few defensive options. So if you uh, if you see that move uh, that he's doing, the, the Vodra, where he teleports and he's on top of him, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's punishable. That's not real. It's not. In, in Marvel 3, you could definitely punish that uh, a few frames before he landed on you. Oh, like yeah. a launch? So you have to contest it in the air. Yeah, it, it's, it's not free. Uh, it looks free, though. It looks, it looks like it should work every time, but okay. it's, it's definitely not. It's kind of like, uh, it's still, what, the first one? Nothing going to happen. So yeah, it's so, like, people don't know, so yeah. Many, yeah. Any, any concerns or complaints that anyone have, like, you have to take it with a grain of salt, honestly, because there's just no, except for stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be in the way. Oh, no, it's a cross-up. Uh, like 50 /50. Okay. I think that's what it is. That's kind of dirty. Dante's a little bit much right now. He's like, good, man. He's, he's, he's too, too much, too good. and he's too easy. Yeah. He's not, like, like I was, when I was looking at the Dante gameplay when the game first came out, I was like, damn, that's impressive. Because, you know, he has to be hard, right? Right. No. No. And I, I'm, I'm wondering if this game has been patched. This is the patch version. Okay, just making sure. That's all that stinger. I'm like, is that over?